for each loop uh, item enumerator. This is one of the other series, one of the next series of uh, containers for each loop enumerators. In SSIS 2012 integration services tutorial video, I'm Rosarat, SQL Server author, trainer, uh, author, trainer, and MVP. Um, uh, first, uh, what is the item enumerator? In the item enumerator, you can look through static data uh, that actually created in your uh, package manually defined by yourself, which can contain uh, multiple columns. Each column can have different data types, string, integer, date time, this kind of data types. You cannot change the names, but uh, columns uh, data type can be changed. And uh, you can use this for looping through um, kind of arrays that have multiple columns. So this is kind of defining arrays with multiple columns uh, in the SSIS package itself. For a sample for this, I uh, use this scenario. We have two database servers for, um, for employee. Assume that each uh, um, department has its own employee database table. Uh, one of the databases uh, for, uh, is for production, another is for sale. These are on, the, on two different uh, database servers and names of uh, databases and names of tables are different, so totally different. A structure of tables are same. We want a loop structure to loop through these uh, different servers and connect to each uh, database name, different database name, and uh, then um, table name and fetch th uh, those information into a third database server into an integrated uh, them employee table. Okay, this is how this looks like right now. We have three different servers. Uh, in one of the servers, we have the production database. As you can see, this is a different server. Uh, in this server and in the production database, we have the employee table, which contains some information about employees, some records for employees. And then we have another database server. In this database server, we have sales database and the table name is sales employee. So name of tables, name of databases, and names of servers are different. So we want to create a, a data table in the package that contains names of server, names of data, name of databases, and name of tables in two different row. And then finally, we want to load those information into our sample database into the dim employee. The employee already is empty. Okay. Now I create a new SSIS project. Integration service project. I put that in my document. Containers. Item enumerator. Okay, uh, this is just an empty package. I first of all I put the for each loop container here. I name it as loop through um, servers. server, servers, and dbs, and tables. Now, into inside this, I change enumerator to item enumerator. When I change enumerator to item enumerator, you can see that here is an enumerator configuration that I can set columns. Here I can add different columns. For example, as you can see, I can add different columns. I cannot change name of columns, but I can change data types. These are <coughs> basic data types uh, that we can add use here. For example, I want one column for server name, another for database name, and another for table name. So all is a string. When I define columns, you can see that that data table created here. Now I can add 
uh, values here. So the first one I want to use for um, server name, I say SQL Express 2012 and the database name for this one is production production and table name is employee for the next one database server is SQL Express 2008 R2 database name sales and table name sales employee for this example I assume that we uh, our user has a Windows authentication access to both of this server if it doesn't have then we need to uh, have two other columns for SQL Server authentication username and password as well. So this is the um, table that I've created. Now I want to map these values to variables. So I create different variables, one for server, another for DB, and the third one for table name. So as you can see the order of these columns is as the order of these columns. This is important because uh, we cannot refer to column names. We can just uh, follow this order. Okay, I okay this and now I add the data flow task here. Inside, that, uh, inside this data flow task, I want to select the information from each of source databases. So first of all, I need to connect this to an existing database to get this working. I connect this to the sales one. And I want to choose um, table name from variable but before that uh, my table name variable should have a default value so I use sales employee this is just for the verification and fetching the metadata for the first time so I use table name and here we can see that this is source database columns I choose those. I want to only insert the records that are not exist in the destination, so I use a lookup. I look up into the destination or final destination data uh, database, which is our sample database, into dim employee and based on the employee key. I want just to fetch new records, so I redirect rows to no match output, those rows that are not exist. And then finally I redirect these rows to OLEDB destination, just no match output, just records that are new. And in the OLEDB destination I want to put data into the destination database and then employee. Here you can see that the destination database is uh, table is empty and this is the mapping. Okay, so this is the data table for um, transfer data from source into destination. Now I want to run this to show you how this works. Uh, before running that I, sh I have a final step. The final step is to configure this is the source connection. I want to configure the source connection to use DB and server um, package variables. So I go to properties. I use expressions here again. So I choose expression. I set the server name with the variable package variable named server and the initial catalog with the variable named DB. 
So I set the database name and server name into the connection string in this way. Uh, when I change this, you can see that the mm, uh, package shows an error here. The error is because uh, the validation step uh, that uh, occurs in the compile time, I set delay validation for the connection and for the task was to true. This means that the validation will happen in the runtime and in the runtime we have those values coming from the for each loop so it will work. When I execute this task, you can see that this executed. It was fast because number of records was not that much and now when I go to my destination table and select everything, you can see that this already has some records and some of these records coming from uh, production records, some of records coming from sales. So this was a sample of how to work with item enumerator. As you can see, this is uh, very flexible, you can define uh, as many as columns you want and uh, set the data types of those and then map those to variables and uh, this is quite good for uh, situations that you want to work with um, um, arrays that uh, have multiple columns, each columns can be different data type. Thanks.